Hey guys, Isaac here with HPS, and today we are doing an install video for the new HPS under the hood bag and bracket for the Polaris Boost snowmobiles. All you will need for this install is a deep well 10 millimeter socket. To start this install, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the clutch side panel off and I'll show you where we're gonna be putting this bracket. With the side panel removed, we will expose the oil tank and the clutches. And where we will be installing the bracket is actually in this void area just above the oil tank. On the naturally aspirated Polaris sleds, uh, the airbox actually takes up this space. And when they made the boost, they moved the airbox and they left this unused space, this void. We will be using it. Also, if you've ever been riding your sled and noticed your oil tank is not very secure, it shakes and wobbles quite a bit, especially when you're riding. To prepare ourselves to install the bracket into the sled, we are after three things. We're after one bolt, one nut, and then we'll actually be temporarily removing the lid off the oil tank. The bolt we are after is the forwardmost bolt holding the ECU to the chassis of the sled. So we will be taking our 10 millimeter deep socket and removing this bolt that holds the ECU. This bolt will actually be replaced, so we do not need it to install the bracket into the sled. The nut we are after is actually the inboard nut of the two that hold the back side of this clutch cover on. So you'll see there are two studs with nuts on them um, behind the oil tank. We are after the inboard nut. You want to make sure that you've got a good hold onto that nut so you don't lose it. We all know what it's like to lose uh, tools and hardware underneath the engine compartment. We don't want that. So make sure that uh, you keep a good hold on it. You don't lose it. We will be reusing that nut for the install of the bracket. From there, all we got to do is remove the lid off the oil tank temporarily and then take your HPS bracket and slide it into this void. And what we're after is this hole on the back side of the bracket is gonna slide over that stud on the belt cover. And this preset hardware is going to replace the bolt that we took out where the ECU is. From there, we'll replace the oil lid. We'll tighten the bolt onto the ECU. Last, we will be putting the nut that we removed back into place. This is the hardest part to the install because you don't have as much room to fit uh, your wrench back into there. And so to prevent from losing the nut, I've done the little tape trip where I've put tape onto the socket and pushing the nut into there first so that it's stuck and it doesn't fall out when I turn it upside down. Makes it easier to not lose the nut when you're wrenching it back on. That's all there is to it to install the bracket onto your boost sled. From there, it's up to you on what you want to put in your under the hood storage bag. What's nice is you can keep all of your gear, gloves, tools, goggles, documents out of the elements. Keep them off of your handlebars, keep them off of your tunnel, keep them out of your bag so you're not adding more weight on your person. But instead, it's all centralized under the hood on your machine. 
Some cool features about this bag, it's made with very durable uh, material that's insulated with a heat and water resistant insulator between the fabrics. It also comes with a safety whistle, in case you ever need it, and about 10 feet of paracord rope, and in case you get yourself into an emergency and you need some rope. The bag has many compartments to store tools, documents, gloves, water, food, goggles, basically anything that you would want to take with you to stay warm uh, and be safe. I personally like to ride with an extra set of uh, gloves and an extra set of goggles. So let's go ahead and stuff some of those into this bag. These goggles are, now, are not small goggles. They're large aviator style goggles. So you know we're not stuffing anything small into this bag. Then you take your bag with whatever you want in there, put it into the bracket. Also notice, see that oil tank? It's not flopping around anymore. This bracket helps secure it tight so you don't run into problems down the road that way. And then all you have to do is put your side panel back on, you're ready to go. And there it is, it's that easy. You just installed your HPS under the hood bag and bracket for your Polaris Boost. If you have any questions about this product or any other HPS products, go ahead, check out teamhps.com. Go check out Team HPS or High Performance Sports on Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media like YouTube. And we hope to see you guys out on the trails or in the mountains. Thanks for watching HPS.